If you've ever been speaking and run out of air, speech got choppy, couldn't say what you wanted to say, your heart starts pounding, you start feeling anxious and nervous, and you simply were not able to communicate, articulate your thoughts in a smooth, calm, confident way, then you should be watching this entire video series because we're talking about four steps that you can take that can improve your speech by more than 80%. For some people, it's 100%. And in our first video, which I want you to go back and watch if you haven't, we talked about the four steps using this word pies. And the first step is to pause, right? I know that sounds very basic and simplistic, but it's extremely powerful and a lot of people don't do it. But in that video, we talked about something that you could do while you are pausing. And what was that? Well, we said breathe, but I want to use the word inhale. And many of you will hear me inhaling while I'm speaking, right? So when you inhale, what you're doing is you're taking in air. When you fail to inhale, now obviously we know that if you were not breathing, you would just fall out. So of course you're breathing, but what happens is if you fail to take in enough air often enough, then you'll have shallow breathing. You could feel breathless. You could feel more tense. You're simply, you're struggling to find enough air to speak. And this can often be a result of number one habit, just the way that you've been breathing when you speak, but also nervousness, anxiousness, fight or flight response which shortens your breath, speeds up your heart rate, tenses or tightens your body, including your speaking muscles, right? So you don't want this when you're speaking. Instead, what you want is you want to be able to take deeper breaths. You want to be able to have enough air in your system. You want to be clear minded. You want to feel relaxed. You want to feel strong. You want to feel confident when you're speaking. So when you inhale, and it doesn't have to be that loud, but when you inhale, and I'm going to share with you exactly how you want to do that. When you inhale, you allow yourself to feel more relaxed, to feel more calm, to speak more smoothly. And then all of the benefits that go along with that benefits in terms of people perceiving you as being relaxed, being calm, being a confident person, being a smooth speaker, being able to understand and process what you're saying. So how should you inhale, especially if you're doing a presentation or you're in a high pressure speaking situation, whatever that may mean for you? Well, what I recommend is that you train yourself to inhale to that is to take in more breaths through where? Through your mouth or your nose? through your nose. If at all possible, when you're feeling anxious or nervous or when you're doing public speaking, you want to take in more frequent breaths through your nose, inhale, and you want to take in deeper breaths, right? So as I'm speaking and I'm taking in deeper breaths, I'm holding some of that air on reserve or in reserve in my system so I can continue to speak. I don't let myself run out of air as soon as I get to a certain level and your body will adjust. It'll feel, okay, I need to take in some more air. I need to build up my reserves again. But as I take in this air through my nose, I'm able to settle my system down. I'm able to speak more smoothly. And we'll talk about how you do that in the next video. But the important thing in this video is that you need to learn how to take in, that is to breathe, it's the first part of breathing, to inhale more air more frequently, be it conversations, presentations, interviews, updates, it doesn't matter. You want to start to take in more air. Now, some of the benefits that we've already talked about, we'll repeat these in almost every video. When you take in air, you're oxygenating your body, right? You're giving your body the oxygen it needs, especially your brain, 
so that you can think more clearly. You won't be cloudy. So the inhalation of air helps keep your mind more clear so that you can recall, you can access the information that you want to communicate. When you take in more air, your body feels more relaxed. This counteracts the fight or flight response. So you just feel more relaxed. You're able to be more expressive, more fluid. You're able to move more. You're not as tense and tight, right? So inhaling allows you to do that. Now, why wouldn't you want to take in more deeper breaths through your mouth? Well, it can dry your mouth out. Now, when we speak, we do inhale both through our nose and often we'll take shorter breaths in through the mouth. That's very normal. Nothing wrong with that. Some people have sinus issues, so it's more difficult for them to take in air through their nose. But I want to challenge you to say that you can actually breathe in through your nose, right? If you absolutely can't, then obviously breathe in through your mouth. But you can actually take in at least some air through your nose. And we have an exercise that we like to take people to. It's called the 777. And you could use any number here. We use 777. It is where you practice breathing. You practice inhaling at a count of seven. Some of you will find that difficult because you're taking in too much air or you're not taking in enough air or you're taking in the air too fast. So when you take in air at a count of five or four or seven, you're learning to control your breathing, especially the inhalation, right? When you hold for a count of seven, this is helping you control what you're doing with that air. So rather than taking it in and just letting it all out, you're learning how to keep some reserves in your system for a count of seven. Maybe you can't do seven. Maybe you can only do three or four or five. That's okay. Then you're exhaling, and that's what we'll talk about in the next video. When you exhale, you're exhaling at a count of seven, or whatever the number is you want to build up, so that you're controlling the amount of air that you're letting out of your system. Some people let all their air out, and then they try to speak. So we're focused in this video, though, on the inhalation. So you want to inhale, and when you practice 777, you learn how to control how much air you're taking in and how long it's taking you to take that air in. And when you practice inhaling through your nose, it helps you to be more conscious of your breathing, more conscious that you're breathing, that you need to breathe, right? If you're just taking in short breath through your mouth, what I found is that people are not as conscious that they're breathing, that they need to breathe. When we teach them to take in more air through their nose, they're more conscious. Hey, I'm breathing right now. I need to continue to breathe like this. I need to take in more air. Okay. So this is another benefit of inhaling through the nose. So the first thing, the first step is to pause, right? To pause. And we talked about some of the benefits of pausing. But during that pause, we call this cognitive breathing space, right? When you pause, you are giving yourself an opportunity. You're giving yourself the space and the time to breathe and more specifically to inhale. Now, what do you do with that air after you've inhaled it? And that is what we're going to talk about in the next video. So I'll see you there.